I knew about write what you know, the old adage, write about what you know. I thought it intuitively, that was freaking me out. I couldn't write about what I know because I didn't think what I know amounted to anything. But when I was a, a, a young writing teacher, I was teaching um, in upstate New York at uh, Binghamton and I had undergraduate um, students. And all their writing was very mannered, they, you know, they were, they were writing hardcore stuff about Vietnam vets, and these are kids from Mineola, you know, suburban Long Island. <laughs> or, you know, they're, they're, they're writing about down, dirty African-American drug addicts when, when their last name was Schwartz, you know, and they lived in, you know, five towns. And I finally said, listen, man, this is, this is bullshit. I mean, just, what do you know? Who are you? What does your father do? I just, just write about, as I said, the whole thing, write about what you know. And it did. And the writing became better simply because it was more centered. They were more centered. Didn't necessarily mean make them great writers or anything. But here's the punchline. So everybody's going around, do 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 You got to write what you know, do 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 write what you know, because <laughs> Professor Price will like you. you know. So they did that, they did that. I leave Binghamton. And the, the writing professor they hired after me was John Gardner, who I don't know if anybody knows who John Gardner was. But he was, he was a, a, a very gifted, more fantastical writer, very much more experimental and not um, you know, pinned to the ground uh, in his imagination. And so a lot of my students, went into his class and they, they, you know, and they write stories about working at a service station, you know, in Queens or, you know, working for an undertaker, you know, um, you know, in Summit, New Jersey. And he'd look at this and he said, this is crap. What are you giving me this stuff? This is so pedestrian and boring. And one girl said, but Professor Price said we should write about what we know. He says, who gives a shit what you know? You're 18. You don't know anything. Make stuff up. Use your imaginations. <laughs> so, you know, that's why they have horse races. <laughs> I never say right about what you know anymore. 